Tuesday. I welcome seven minute reset hopping. We're going to do some um, chair yoga. I know I called it chair aerobics yesterday. Wow, that would be interesting to see at any rate, but no. Um, I'm also going to link up a few things for you guys. Um, one is an article on the health benefits of ghee. And um, that's a really interesting read. It's like um, twice refined butter, I guess, is the best way to describe it. But it can be found, it doesn't need to be um, refrigerated. And you have some really serious needs for these kinds of oils, fats in your body. So um, anyway, it's a, it's, a, it's a good read. So uh, let's get started. This one feels strange for me, and but I'm thinking, um, it's a really good thing for our feet. So I want you to lift your toes and then I want you to spread your toes out for a minute. Mm. Release it. We're going to do this four times. Up, spread your toes. <laughs> These teeny little toes. Um, okay, drop it and uh, third time up. <laughs> so I feel like it's more difficult <laughs> to spread your toes if they're just really, really short. Um, okay, drop it last time. Up, spread those toes. Okay, heels up. That's almost a relief after that weirdness. Down and up. We'll do it a total of four times. This is two. Down and up. And last time up. Okay, we're going to extend our right leg. And I'm just going to scoot up a little bit because that's... Um, more comfortable for me. Okay, so um, just hold your leg up there. Just hold it. Feel, you know, after a, a second or two, you do start to feel a little heat and engagement, warms that leg up, it's fabulous. So the other link, I had this thing happen. I was complaining about eating too much Easter candy. Well, I have a really good reason not to do that now. Okay, so point very, Firmly and flex very firmly and keep doing it. Point and flex. Just keep doing it for a little while. Well, my gallbladder got weird. And then I had to reach out to my wonderful friend, Dr. Betsy Bartlett, who um, recommended three um, things to take. Okay, I want you to um, circle your foot first one way. And then the other, taking care of our feet and ankles this week. Okay, switch it over to the left leg. Just extend that leg out and hold it up. So I would tell you what the supplements were, but I mean, they don't make any sense. Um, standard process is what she markets. And I mean, what does AF beta food mean? I have no idea, but it made the pain stop. So <laughs> my hat's off to you. Betsy, I'm going to link her up. If anybody ever has any inkling of trying a more holistic approach to their overall health, please at least entertain Dr. Betsy. She's amazing. Point and flex. And point and flex with fervor. Is that a word? <laughs> Do it enthusiastically. <sighs> All right, Tuesday, I hope Monday went really well. Circle your foot. Noticing that really oddly miscoordinated the whole left side of my body. How weird. Okay, reverse it, do it the other way. Still have to figure out some way to move even if it does feel weird. Okay, we're gonna sit up very, very tall for this one. We're gonna just take, um, go ahead and interlace your fingers. You're gonna just take your knee up to your chest but you're gonna kind of push against your body to get it into a very straight back position. I have to engage my arms a little bit to make that happen, but I'm definitely getting that stretch in that right glute, and that's where I'm wanting you to direct your energy. Okay, I want you to cross that right ankle over your left knee, and you might just stay here because it really does feel good, right? That, um, that hip opener is just so good. Okay, you could stay there 
or you could give yourself a gentle little push, not on your knee, but around that area, or you could pick that leg up and kind of intensify the stretch, obviously, because of the angle. Um, yeah, or not. Whatever you're in the mood for. Okay, stretch that knee back into your chest, extend it long, release it, and we are going to do the other knee. I did not mean to extend it there, I got mixed up in my notes. <laughs> uh, I continue to try to improve. Oh, it gets harder when you get older to remember stuff. It does a little bit. Okay, I want you to take that um, ankle, cross it over your right knee. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, I have a date at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning in the garden with my husband. You could put a little pressure right here on this leg, or you could lift that leg and kind of cradle it intensify that stretch. Over the weekend we stopped and got all of our plants, um, so now we need to go work. Bring that knee back into your chest, extend it out long, and then release it. Okay, we're just gonna bring our arms up and twist over to the side. Your left hand uh, comes behind you in the middle of the chair, Use it to press into that twist. Your right hand is on the outside of your left leg. <sighs> twist into that exhale. It's just so good. I hope you guys are finding this chair yoga relaxing and stress relieving for you. Okay, we're going to just bring it back up. Twist it over the other way. Your right hand is in the center of the chair's back. Your left hand is on the outside of your right knee. And you're looking behind you. You know, the number one thing, well, this was from all my internet um, web MD research, uh, what gets your digestive um, system, you know, your gallbladder and all that stuff. Okay, we're going to just move into that warrior one position. Um, as I mentioned, my chair is wide, so I'm coming out further than you might on your chair. I'm bending my knee to the right side of the room, extending my left leg, and I'm going to bring both arms up overhead. Um, when your gallbladder and, I don't know, gut health and all that stuff kind of rolls up together, but stress is what triggers it. Bring those arms into a warrior two position and just hang out here for a minute. So hard to have, you know, a really fabulous diet. I don't know. We have access to it. Why is it so hard? I think it's just an organizational problem with me. Okay, so bend your um, right arm. You're going to bring your left arm overhead and turn that gaze upward. I do know the right things to eat. It's just not what I have a tendency to grab or what seems to be what my body's telling me. It's like Fritos. I know better. Okay, reach that right hand down towards the floor and extend down into this stretch. Man, I'm just really feeling that everywhere. Fabulous. Back up on that elbow. Bring that... Um, left arm behind you and roll that shoulder back. Gaze goes up. And then we go into that reverse warrior. Your right arm goes up, your gaze comes up towards the ceiling and your left hand is on the back of your left leg. Bring that whole body over to the left side. I'm facing the left side of my room. Bent knee on the left side, extended on the right, and both my arms are coming up. I am kind of excited about getting our garden underway. I really love the herb garden. We got um, cilantro and um, basil. 
open into warrior two. I got some other things last year, but I didn't use any of them. But there is nothing better than homemade pesto, right? Okay, bend your elbow, your right arm goes overhead, your gaze comes up, and you're breathing deep. Oh. Plus, I just think it's really nice. Okay, extend your left arm towards the floor. Here is this crazy left side of my body fighting me today. And bring it up into that reverse warrior. Left arm comes up. Right hand is in the back of your right leg. <sighs> bring your body forward. We're going to bring that, um, bring your legs out wide. <sighs> Breathe your arms up. Come into a forward fold. Oh. I hope this helped you let go of any anxiety you were feeling. Let you take a minute to clear your head so you can go back and tackle whatever is going on. I know you can. Always better to do it with a clear head, right? so much for joining me guys um i hope you have a great fabulous tuesday and i'm gonna see you tomorrow